factors influencing ionization energies. All right. So there are three factors that affect ionization energy. Now, again, understand what is ionization energy. It's the energy required to take that one more electron away. Am I okay? Endothermic. So you must supply the energy. So you need to supply more or less energy. All right. Energy changes, huh? So here we go. The three of them is here. First of all, size of positive nuclear charge, meaning the nucleus, the amount of protons inside there. If there's more proton, yes, I proton number increases, more protons inside there, there will be a higher nuclear charge. Am I okay? All right, the positive charge inside there is higher. So there will be an increased attraction for outermost electron, Romeo Juliet relationship. Am I okay? More males, all right, you attract the female, the outside female, or whatever you call it, right? The attraction. And therefore, more energy required to remove an electron and ionization energy will increase. Second factor, size of an atom or ion, also commonly known as the distance of the valence shell or outermost shell from the nucleus. Hope that makes sense to you. And the reason, when there's an increase in the size of the atom or ion, so what happened? The nucleus is standard, right? But your valence shell is very far away, right? Obviously, which means the Julia is very far from the Romeo, right? So there's a decrease in attraction. Therefore, you conclude this time around, right? less energy required to remove the electron. How to get the, the, the Juliet to go away, basically, right? So ionization energy decreases in this case. We're going to use this to answer questions, all right? Okay, then I move to the third one. Which is the most important. It's called the shielding or screening effect. Usually we use shielding, right, these days? Effect of inner shell electrons, inner electrons. Uh, what's the story in the first place? Uh, the outermost electron, the one that's outside, right, that you want to remove, is screened or shielded from the attraction of the nucleus by the repelling effect of the inner shell electrons. So if I draw it out for you, it looks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is nucleus, right? Yes. And then you have your shells, right? Okay, so this electron at the most outside one is called the valence shell electron. Everyone okay? The most outside one, all right? This is therefore known as your inner shells. This one and this one are therefore inner shells which provide shielding effect. They call them the shielders. Why? Very easy. Juliet, Romeo, a track, but suddenly you got two walls separating them. It's like you have a North Pole and South Pole of a magnet. You suddenly put a book in the middle, they will not attract anymore. Increase in shielding, meaning if I have more of this, right? There's a decrease in attraction of positive nucleus for the negative electron. Romeo, Juliet cannot attract them out. Concluding statement, done. Less energy required to remove the electron, ionization energy decreases. If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.com teachable.com you'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world topic by topic this is sean chua from winners education to your distinction in chemistry